hike the ball. I'm going to take a couple steps, look at what he's doing, and we're going to get the super fast pressure. What's going on, boys? Hope y'all having a blessed week so far today. We about to go over how to play lockdown defense in Madden 23. If you're new to the channel or you are OG of the channel and enjoying the content, drop a thumbs up on the video down below. It's free. Hit the red subscribe button. Shout out to my boy Joey Camden for showing love in the comment section and shout out to Zacharias James. If you want to shout out to the channel, all you got to do, go in the comment section and say something. Let's get into today's breakdown. I'm a whole LB. Boom, come out here, look for work, and we should have either the cornerback or we should have a disengage. All right, today we're going to go over a full breakdown on how you can run lockdown defense like the pros in Madden 23. Okay, Big Nickel Over G is the best block shed defense in the game. Nickel Over is number two, but Big Nickel is number one. Okay, now my audibles, I like to have cover four palms, cover three seam, strong safety blitz three. Okay, my adjustments, I like to always be on match coverage no matter what. So, if I go right here and I put this on 25 yards, I'm going to be on match coverage whenever I pick a match coverage play. And I will just come up in here and put this back to default. Okay, so I'm going to be on match coverage in 25 yards. Now, we're going to go and get some corner routes. Pay attention to the entire video. Now, if we come out in this play and they come out and just chuck a corner route at the break. Boom, corner route. Pass it to the outside. He's going to be wide open. If he has short and elite. If he has route tech, it's gonna dominate your guy. So we're gonna come right here at the break. We can throw that right there, boom. Turn it into a potential 20, 25 yard gain or a one play touchdown. Now, say you wanna take that route away so you can concentrate on another part of the field. All you gotta do is push YY or triangle, triangle. That's gonna bring up your secondary. Then you're gonna highlight the cornerback over there. That's X, okay? Then you're gonna push right stick to the left outside quarter okay outside third does not cover it deep half does not cover it outside quarter or a 25 yard cloud as long as you play sticks will cover it so if we push right stick to the right now look at my defense if i throw that same corner route he's going to be all over it throw it at the break and now we have somebody right in the area to intercept it so if they're doing double corner routes they're doing a bench concept corner route on the left corner route on the right they're going to throw it right into the adjustment that you are making behind the scenes. I like to come out in this play to have that safety in the box and I will always use her the safety at the top. So I like to put two cornerbacks in this position and then I will hold the LB or the L1. So say they going for the corner routes. I make an adjustment, put him like that. Now that guy is not covered. So I will go like this and change it. I will recover a person that's open, come down here, blitz myself. Okay, and now I'm going to be watching what number 10 does if he comes vertical down the field this way or if he comes out and does a drag. Okay, so my first reaction is going to be I'm going to step back, see the route combo, and then I'm going to come back down while using my peripherals. So if I come out here and hike the ball, I'm going to take a couple steps, look at what he's doing, and we're going to get the super fast pressure because I am holding the LB down. LB and L1 is super glitchy as far as your normal four-man pass rush or with the blitz setup. So we come right here. I take a couple steps back and you can see that blitz and cornerback comes in untouched super, super fast. Okay, that's without the running back blocking, but that's something that you could just mix in. I like to either man that guy up as I showed you in the past couple of videos or I could sneak the super fast pressure in. Now, the package that I like to run out of the big nickel over G is the slot 
cornerback package. If you go down to the bottom with your right stick and you can click it to the left, to the left, or to the right, to the right. And I like to go to slot cornerback, okay? That's going to help me be able to do uh, cover three with cover two shells. And that's going to help me be able to do purples on the field if they are throwing a whole bunch of drag. Okay, so when I make adjustments, we're going to go over how I use her on top of it. Okay, so if you come right here on this play, we have a blitzing cornerback right here on the edge. Okay, so that means that this guy is manned up, this guy is manned up, that guy's blitzing in. I'm gonna shade over the top two times and then outside. Now, I'm gonna use her this blitzing angle and I'm gonna stay right here and make sure the green bar is over the top of me. Now, how I'm gonna use her is hold L1 or LB. And I'm gonna let the computer run out here to the running back and then I'm gonna come back down. I'm gonna run with the route just long enough to get the pressure on the quarterback. We do it again. If we shade over the top two times so it register, and I come down here and I got the green bar over the top of my head and I hold LB. Now, I'm gonna let the computer run me out here to the running back to get that pressure. Okay, that's what it's all about. I like the whole L1, LB because if I hike it right here, whoever he's manned up or responsible for, if I go to RB, man him up, watch this. He's gonna take off with the running back. I'm not doing anything. I just hold LB and the computer automatically takes off to your assignment. All right, so I like to do that on a blitz angle or not a blitz angle. So I will hold L1, LB before they hike the ball and he's gonna run out in a circle. Then I just take control, come back to this route underneath and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run out to the initial route where the computer takes me to and then I'm gonna come back and circle if it's a route underneath me so this is exactly how I use her in the game I let the computer take me and then boom I see another route underneath and I want to circle back around okay so let it take me because if he throws it quick I want to have a chance to either break the pass up I want to have a chance to tackle him right away or get an interception so use these small tweaks and tips to have better lockdown defense in Madden 23. If you want a more in-depth breakdown on exactly how I do against different formations and different sets, make sure that you get the ebook down below. Like I said, any corner route, you wanna put an outside quarter on the field, okay? Any corner route, it don't matter from the left or from the right. If they try to spam a corner route, no matter how they throw it, they try to spam this corner route on the break, you're going to have a guy right there in the area to take that away. Love y'all. Let's go.